There's a great deal of science that goes into these new translations. And, um, and that science has, um, has caused us to say that the King James Version, the text that it's, the, the Hebrew and the Greek text that, that it's built upon, as important and as significant as they are, are not as reliable as they could be. We can do better, we can be more reliable. Now let's be clear, I want to just step back for a second and say that we're not talking 25 or 35 percent discrepancy. We're talking, um, you know, one or two percent. And really, when, it, when you boil it down, it's not anything utterly significant to life and faith. But it's still important for those of us who desire to know the scriptures and to follow God to, to want to be sure that we have as accurate the scri- of, uh, a, a, an edition of the scriptures as we can have. So you can see the motivation on the part of so many of these um, textual critics and other scholars to try and find and and get at the the, the proper reading of the the Bible. Now, the reality is there's a lot of, there's not a lot, but there's some significant pushback against this. And this is really the other story about the King James Version. There's scholars who think and argue that the Textus Receptus, the received text underlying, the Greek text underlying the New Testament of the King James Version, should be, we should go with that. And the Masoretic text as well. But I don't want to talk about those scholars right now. I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about others who have this view. And I want, to, I want to take a little field trip, if you will, to, um, to the King James only website called KGV, kjvtoday.com. And here we are. And I just want to go through, and what this does is this is a very, um, in my opinion, having worked through this in several angles, I'm not one to just run to the web and answer questions on the web unless it's about sports. Um, this, is a, this does a great job of going through and giving the arguments and the data behind those who say that the King James should be the Bible that we use. And if you go through this website, what you find is a great deal of information. For instance, um, information about you know, arguing for um, the Hebrew text, why we should go with the Masoretic text. So if you're in, you know, th- this, this is arguing why that's a, um, a reliable, and it talks about the, um, the different translations and what their stance is. And the interesting thing about this is that the, um, the, you get a sense of the, the motivations, and we'll talk about this in a moment, the motivations of somebody who would put these uh, this website together, and really those who would defend the King James Version. And I, I'll, I'll sort of give you my, my take on that in a second, but I want to just go through and give you, just as you scroll down, you can see these are the arguments that they make for the King James Version. They argue that there are no, de- no demonstrable errors in um, the King James Version, that many books and articles have been written criticizing the KJV. Um, however, these books, also, um, these books fail to succeed in making the case that the KJV is unreliable. It's a fuller, doctrinally superior text. Why would they say that? Well, it keeps texts like Acts, 9, I mean, Acts 8, verse 37, the, about the baptism text, because it keeps those texts instead of calls them into question. It must be, doctr- it must be doctrinally more reliable. It is a very literal translation. It, it, it's amazing how the King James Version can be as literal as it is and as poetic as it is. But I should point out that there is really no such thing as a literal translation. I didn't mean to go through and argue with every point that he makes, but I just, this one gets, gets, yeah, anyway, I was gonna say it gets into my craw, but this is being taped. So this one bothers me a little bit. Um, and, and, and what bothers me about it is just that um, any decision, any, there is no such thing as a word for word kind of translation that doesn't involve interpretation doesn't involve having to think about how that word is used and how to bring it into English. Translation is difficult work, and the King James Version is a masterpiece of translation, but it's just by nature of being a translation and not a perfect work. 